I think this is part two of the watermelon patch. Good grief. It has taken over the entire garden over in the sides and the middle. But I wanted to show you some of my watermelons. Oh, there, oh there's a big one right there. Hmm, i got to get in there. Hold on. Okay, I'm coming over so you can see. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> These were hiding. Okay. There's one right there, too. Oh, there's one right there, yeah. Can you so see there's that four one? right here. Four, just in this spot. Look how big. Oh, my goodness. Um, these are resting on wood chips, which is good, and Kurt just put hay underneath this one. Let's go see if there's some more somewhere. Okay, now, oh, there's a baby one right there. I, mean, I don't know if it got it. Okay, there's lots of bees over here now. Have you noticed? Where? Here I put hay underneath this one, like there, and there's one next to it there. Let me see. Okay, there's one. Oh, there's two more. Yep. Oop, let me get out of the sun. There's one. Okay, and oh, there's a the little baby one way under there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I just want to show you. <laughs> These have grown over. It's nice to see the bees. It is beautiful to see the bees. Oh my goodness. What's funny is there's almost none in the bed. Yeah, most of them are out. But I am starting to see some in the bed, so that's encouraging. It's really good to see the bees. We weren't seeing any for a while, so we were beginning to wonder if I was just growing watermelon plants and not uh, watermelons. But you can see some of them buzzing around, which is wonderful. Pollinating. So we are going to have a great harvest of watermelon, which we love. Wish we could freeze them. I guess other than juicing them, I don't really know what you can do. So if you guys have any watermelon preservation ideas would love it otherwise we're just gonna eat watermelon and give watermelon and uh, we also have some critters in our yard that love watermelon that's their favorite so anyways i just wanted to show you how, how much they've grown over everything and underneath is hiding all of these little watermelons so that was a nice surprise to come out to yesterday because i just really hadn't seen them and uh, I don't know how I missed those big ones, but I did. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching Hobie Farms. God bless you and have a great day.